range. So far, we've presented the two primary benefits of Vilter's single screw compressor, balanced forces for extremely long bearing life and high reliability, and the Parallax slide valves for optimized efficiency through its full capacity range. Besides these primary benefits, there are also many additional benefits of the single screw compressor. All of the single screw compressor's bearings are at suction pressure. With the single screw, there is no risk of bearing degradation or failure due to liquid ammonia washing oil off the bearings in the discharge gas stream since there are no bearings in the discharge gas stream. This feature of the single screw allows the success of Vilter's cool compression technology. Further, lubrication of the bearings is easily achieved due to the high differential pressure between the oil that's fed to the bearings and the low pressure at which the bearings operate. The single screw's length to diameter ratio, or the L over D of the rotors, is proportional. The single screw's rotors are stocky and rugged, and their L over D proportions remain consistent throughout the entire product line. The robust construction of single screw rotors is not subject to the challenges presented by mid-rotor deflection of other technologies. With the single screw, cascading is minimal. Cascading is when gas slips across the land from a high pressure flute to the adjacent lower pressure flute. The land, which separates the flutes, is shown here in green. The land of the single screw is not a ceiling tip, but rather a flat, wide surface. Notice how, as the rotor rotates and pressure increases, the land increases in width and cascading is minimized. Minimal cascading results in high volumetric efficiency. The single screw's gate rotors are constructed of a non-wearing, high-performance engineered composite material having a chemical composition polyphenylene sulfide, or PPS, and is commonly known as Riton by its producer, Philips Chemical Company. This material is incredibly strong. Some characteristics of Riton include high temperature stability, dimensional reliability, and flame retardants. Riton holds up to any gas or liquid. In fact, it has such high chemical resistance that there are no known solvents of Riton below 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The gate rotors are tolerant of extreme conditions. This gate rotor took the hit of 1160 foot-pounds of energy from an AK-47 rifle at 50 yards. Notice that where the bullet hit, the inflicted damage did not extend beyond a three-quarter inch diameter hole. The gate rotors are tooled to conformance by the main rotor. There is no need for match marking or mating pairs of rotors with the single screw compressor. Gate rotors are easy to access and replace if necessary right through the side access covers of the compressor without removing the compressor from the unit. Replacement of the gate rotors restores the compressor to original capacity. The single screw compressor is quiet and vibration free. Here we see a single screw unit in operation with a nickel unsupported and standing on its edge on the top of the compressor's housing. It's quiet and vibration free primarily due to its balanced design and the flow of its discharge gas pulsations. Consider the gas pulsations of three different compressors operating at 3600 revolutions per minute. A four lobe twin screw compressor produces four discharge gas pulsations per revolution times 3600 revolutions per minute or 14,400 gas pulsations per minute discharged from a single port. A five lobe twin screw compressor produces 18,000 gas pulsations per minute discharged from a single port. A single screw with its six flutes and two discharge ports produces 12 discharge gas pulsations per revolution or 43,200 gas pulsations per minute discharged simultaneously from dual opposing discharge ports. As a small volume of gas is discharged from one port, a simultaneous small volume of gas is discharged from the opposing discharge port. Any induced vibration to the frame of the compressor due to a discharge pulse on one side is canceled by the identical volume discharge pulse on the opposite side. It's very unusual for vibration monitoring and analysis to be applied to a single screw compressor 
because the single screw is inherently a vibration-free compressor. In summary, the single screw compressor's balanced forces provide an extremely long life and very low maintenance. Its parallel slide valves result in peak energy efficiency. All of the compressor's bearings are at suction pressure for reliability. The length over diameter is proportional throughout the product line. The land is wide for minimal cascading and high volumetric efficiency. Gate rotors are durable yet forgiving. It's a quiet and vibration-free compressor, and the single screw is the only screw compressor unit with a 5-year compressor and 15-year bearing warranty. The single screw product line consists of two series of units. The VSM, with nine models ranging from 150 CFM up to 700 CFM, and the larger VSS units, with 11 models ranging from 750 CFM up to 3000 CFM. These units are built around six different rotors, from the smallest 205 mm rotor, about 8 inches in diameter, up to the large 395 mm rotor, which is nearly 16 inches in diameter. The 205 mm rotor provides us with six models from the VSM 152 up to the VSM 401. The model number indicates the compressor's capacity in CFM. The three smallest models run at 1800 RPM and all of the larger models operate at 3600 RPM. From the 240 mm rotor we get three models, the VSM 501, 601, and 701. Multiple models are achieved by cutting the flutes of the rotor to varying depths. With the 280 mm rotor, we shift to the VSS series of units to get two models, the VSS 751 and VSS 901. We attain models VSS 1051 and VSS 1201 from the 310 mm rotor. With a 350mm rotor, we offer models VSS 1501, the VSS 1801, and the soon to be released model VSS 2101. Also pending release are four models built around the largest 395mm single screw rotor, the VSS 2401, the VSS 2601, the VSS 2801, and the very large VSS 3001. Prototypes for the five largest models will be out this fall.